Hey guys, Kedrix here again, and I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've been pretty busy, and I wanted to do this review earlier, but uh, first off, I want to say this. I know that in my air review, for those of you who watch and, you know, all my videos, I said that I was going to be doing a vlog for that day leading up to right before and right after the events of Avengers Age of Ultron, and I did, unfortunately, the camera that I was using got destroyed, it was knocked out of my hands, and a guy accidentally stepped on it, unfortunately, the card was smashed along with it, so unfortunately, now I'm fresh out of camera, and I will not be able to upload that, I feel, I felt incredibly pissed, so... For the past couple days, I've been a little too upset to do the Air, the Avengers review, but you know I've calmed down. I've really gotten out of my funk. For those of you who know that I uploaded another video today, uh, the Kingdom Hearts Part Five, that I did that a month ago. I just never uploaded it until now, so that's why it's up there now. I really wanted to get all this done. So let's get on with the review. So. It starts off with the movie being them all already on a mission to take down Hydra. Oh, wait. I just now remember, guys. Okay, so that's just the start of the movie. But I do want to say this to you guys. From here on out, there will be high, high levels of spoilers. I intend to tell you everything about the movie for the somewhat most part. You know, just what led up to one and another and another and another. So, yeah. So, you've been warned there will be spoilers. So, actually, I, I, I probably got that on the title there, so as I'm making this, you guys get the idea. But, um, they're attacking a Hydra Fortress to get Loki's Scepter, and they finally find it. And they really, Hulk is not completely in control. He needs to be calmed down by Black Widow every time. And everyone has really progressed as a team, and the Hawkeye, I'm just going to say Hawkeye in this movie is so much better than he was in the first Thor movie as well as the first Avengers movie because we didn't really uh, get to see that much of him in either movie. But in this one, we see a ton of character development for him, and we'll get more into that later. But he's just really being shown out there, and it's really great. So they finally find the Scepter, and we get a look at Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, and... It's just great to have those two characters in the series. I never really knew anything about them going into this. So, to meet these characters who I've never met before, that right there is just its just amazing. So, bringing in these two characters, they sort of set that in Tony's mind. Scarlet Witch, she has the power to mess with someone's head, and then she forces him to sort of use a Tesseract's energy to create Ultron and guys it, it works I mean and he shuts down Jarvis like he tries to him it doesn't work obviously I mean Jarvis is a computer program there's always going to be a way for Jarvis to be remade maybe not the exact same but you guys get the idea so they have this big party you know revolving you know everyone just celebrating hey we got the scepter it's it's go time it's party time I think one of the funniest moments was right there when everyone's trying to lift the hammer. No one's able to even budget. However, when you hear it sort of go, or something when Captain America is pulling out, you sort of see Thor. He's just like, <laughs> he, he, he kind of has a, a breath of relief because he thought Cat was going to pick it up for a second. Uh, every everyone tries to pick it up except for uh, Black Widow and Agent Hill, and it's just really, really great. Then we get Ultron. He finally comes in, and he puts them through a fight that they will never forget. And I think the person who had the most trouble in this fight was definitely Tony because he was without a suit. Now, he's been in fights without his suit before, but he's always had a suit sort of nearby. I mean, he had his hand, but... Uh, no, I mean, there's only so much you can do like that. So, all in all, it was a good fight. Then it gets to the point where they start to really turn on each other. It just keeps going, keeps going. 
and Ultron is an extremely powerful guy. I mean, and what's more, he's not like a typical AI. He's actually a funny, well-rounded character that, you know, we just kind of, when we first looked at it, we saw it as kind of like he's just a rebellious robot who thinks one track and really he's a well-rounded character that you actually enjoy i think in my personal opinion he was actually a better villain both comedically maybe not as comedically but definitely as a you know just overall character than loki was in the avengers and that's really something that you got to get right and then it shows you know uh you know how everyone gets torn apart especially with characters like Bruce he he and Black Widow I mean it's an obvious relationship and she's just like pushing and he she's pushing to come towards but Banner's just pushing her away because he's he's just so afraid all the time uh, then it gets down to the whole big battle where they reconfront Ultron again but this time she goes after the entire team. The only one who was completely safe was, in fact, Hawkeye. They, they've really showcased his powers or of perception. I mean, he doesn't have any powers. I mean, I don't know. I'm just kind of out of it still, guys. So, But just really great. As well as setting the Hulk on a rage fest. Now, we were all wondering, why are Hulk and Iron Man fighting in the trailer well now we got and we got our our explanation and it was just a really really great fight i mean it was as much comedical as it was awesome because when you see hulk spit out a tooth and then <laughs> uh tony's in the iron man armor he's just like i'm sorry <laughs> it's just it's it was a hilarious fight i can't wait to watch it again when it comes out i might go see it again in theaters because it was a really good movie i may go see it again uh but uh it was a really great movie and it just keeps on going you know everyone is on edge and we see hawkeye's background that he has a family that has been kept off record so the only person who knew about it was in fact black widow <laughs> and tony was like uh, she's an agent. The the little kids, they're a, they're agents too, only just younger. And uh, Thor is trying to figure out what was his crazy Scarlet Witch vision about, and he finds out it was the Infinity Stones. And I'm just like, oh man, that's awesome. So there was an Infinity Stone in Loki's scepter. Holy crap! And, you know, just the way that they play out Ultron's character, he is a really great villain that you just, you like him because he's not just threatening. He's funny, too. I mean, that's a pretty good way to spend the character. And what's more, the, the big car chase, not as spectacular and awesome as the battle with Hulk and Iron Man. I mean, that's... Be honest, I mean, it wasn't just Ultron that got us coming to the theater, guys. It was the Hulk versus Iron Man fight that we all were starting to see. That was why we started first. So, uh, and then there was also just, it was just a really great movie. Um, let's see what else. After that, we get to the whole big plan, you know. Now we've got Vision, and by far, the absolute funniest and best part of comedy in the entire movie when Vision shows up and picks up Thor's mule near hammer. And he's just like, oh, uh, uh, okay, uh, let's, let's go. You picked up my hammer. <laughs> I, I, everyone in the theater, including myself, we were just laughing so hard and it was just, all in all, really, really great. Uh, comedy, still amazingly awesome. And the the joke that was used over and over and over again, I forgot to mention this one, Captain America in the very beginning saying bad, or saying, hey, language, and then 
everyone's just making a joke about that all over the place. Uh, but it, it's really great. I mean, it's just so much comedy in this. I mean, that's what you really love about Marvel. I mean, DC does it too sometimes, but Marvel, they, they have that sort of perfect mix with action and comedy these days. Uh, I, th I think the best one, best examples being uh, Iron Man and as well as uh, Captain America and Thor because not only are those three the uh, the most common Avengers because Hulk is sort of iffy from time to time but uh, Iron Man definitely the funniest. Captain America and Thor, they kind of switch out from time to time. And then we get to the big plan. <laughs> Ultron takes an entire city and pulls it up from the earth. And his plan is to drop it like a meteor down straight to the earth, wiping out all of mankind the same way that the first meteor wiped out the dinosaurs. Now that was just... I'm sitting there thinking, holy crap, this is a really thought out plan. I mean, this is even more dangerous than the Chitauri invasion from the first movie. Holy crap. And so it comes down to the whole point where now we've got Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. They're part of the team, but Scarlet Witch is just not as part of the team as uh, Hawkeye is. I mean, or Quicksilver. <laughs> Hawkeye basically has to babysit her at first, and he takes her into a place. And we kind of saw this in the commercials, and we kind of saw it coming, but he said, you step out there, you are an Avenger. I'm not going to be taking care of you. And we we finally got the whole, you know, Black Widow and Hulk, you know, they're a thing. And she kisses him and knocks, knocks him off into a big hole. I'm just like, oh, you crossed the line. <laughs> uh, and the final battle was spectacular it was just an all out super fast paced brawl to the death between Ultron's army and the Avengers and I gotta say guys it was just a spectacular battle to see the uh, the, the sort of rivalry bef between Quicksilver and uh, Hawkeye was really great. I felt that it was kind of sad and all that that Quicksilver got KO'd in this movie. I thought that he was going to be playing a much bigger role in the uh, in the series. I mean, he has a fast metabolism. For all I know, he's healing from his wounds and they're pulling a sort of Phil Coulson thing on here. But uh, but uh, but no. I mean, I felt genuinely sad when I when we saw. Quicksilver bite the bullets. So, and to see everything come together, you know, Ultron defeated. We got Vision. We got Scarlet Witch, and yeah, War Machine. I mean, it's great to see all these new characters, you know, brought into the Avengers. I mean, we've had War Machine before, but it's nice to see him as War Machine again instead of Iron Patriot. I mean. Iron Patriot wasn't bad, but War Machine was a lot better. So, uh, and it ends the movie with Hulk going off on his own. Uh, Tony's going back to Stark. Uh, Thor's gone back to uh, Asgard. Hawkeye's gone back to his family. And Black Widow and Captain America are training the new Avengers, which I felt it was kind of cheap at the end when... Captain America said Avengers and then we all know what he was about to say. He was about to say Assemble. And then we got the secret ending which was during the credits. So unfortunately we didn't get one after the credits. But it was with uh, with uh, Thanos grabbing a, uh, a gauntlet which is meant for the six Infinity Stones. I, I had a friend tell me about this one. So, uh, you know, the, the Infinity Stones, you know, they're put into this gauntlet kind of makes them a powerhouse. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know the entire story, but that's what I've heard. So, uh, really, that's it, guys. So, overall, great action, great comedy, great story. I couldn't really... Oh, yeah, there, there were some morals, like, you know, uh, what Captain America said during the movie. When someone tries to, s to stop a war before it starts, people die. 
Let that be a lesson to all you idiots out there who are trying to prevent wars by making the very weapons that start them. Really? Why is it that movies can get this, but the but the governments can't? I just, just want to throw that out there. That's kind of stupidity right there. So, all in all, for this movie, I'm going to give it a... Uh, what am I going to give it? I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. It was just really great movie. There, there were obviously some problems. I'll find them again once I watch the movie a second time because whenever I see a movie the first time I'm just like yeah that was that was pretty awesome that was pretty good the second time around I'm like still good not as good as I remember it being there were some quirks here and there that I didn't really you know consider the first time but it was a good movie overall so that's been the Kedrick's review for Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron and I hope to be doing more of these movie reviews. I can't do a lot of them. I can't be going to the theaters, you know, whenever I want them. I got a day job, so there's that. But I've been Kedrick, and as always, people, have an awesome day. Be sure to follow me on Facebook. It's in the description below. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and share this with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. And be sure to check later. Uh, I'm going to try to get this done by the end of the week. But I am going to be doing my anime versus anime review, which is going to be Bleach Hellverse versus Naruto Shippuden The Lost Tower. Now, that's going to be a project that I'm still working on. i got to get the editing done, but it'll finally be here, hopefully, by the end of the week. I've been Kedrickson, as always, people. Peace out.